putting your face into the corner of your video footage when you're creating reaction videos, gameplays, tutorials, and so much more is really quick and simple inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. You just have to make sure that you have got your base footage, so the screen recording or whatever you're reacting to, on video at layer one. And then you want your footage to be on video at layer two. There you go. So we've got our base footage, and then on top of that is the reaction footage. Now, there's multiple different ways of doing this, but we're going to use the opacity tool. So go to effects, opacity, and I'm going to start with a circle. So let's create an ellipse mask. And I'm just going to move this around my face like this. Now, don't worry about the scale for now. Just make sure you've got a really nice big circle that you can see your face. And then we're going to pull the mask feather down to zero. And then we'll pull the scale of the whole shot down press motion because if you don't press motion if you're still selecting the mask then when you try to move this you'll just move the mask rather than moving the footage and then we'll just move this down into the corner and there you go you've got some reaction footage now if you don't want a circle then you can just delete that mask and we can go for a square and in that case you can use these polygon mask tools or alternatively you could just go really nice and simple go into effects search for crop drop that onto video layer two and we'll crop the left in like this really simple really quick really easy now if you wanted to add a drop shadow onto this to make this really pop then in order to do that you just want to go into effects search for drop shadow and, and that will be under perspective we'll drop that onto video layer two drop shadow we're going to set to white in this example because it's a dark background we want that to really pop out then we're just going to go down to the distance and we'll increase that to a really large number just so we can figure out where this is. Then we'll go to direction and we'll spin it around until it's roughly here. Then we'll pull the distance back down to a more sensible number. Increase the softness to create a blur. And then we can play with the other numbers. So we'll pull the distance back in a bit closer. We'll pull the opacity down. And as you can see, there is this nice soft glow behind. Now the white might not work in this example, maybe we do want a black shadow. Now this is quite subtle, but it does give you that nice separation from the two different layers. Or you can be a bit more vibrant, you can choose a colour which is going to stand out more, or maybe pick a primary colour from the shot, so there's a lot of blues going on here. So I'll have a bit of blue light spilling out from there, I think that looks really cool. I would probably increase the softness a little bit more though, and then decrease the opacity, just so there's a nice glow behind it. And there you go. That is how you put your face in the corner of a video. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And please consider pressing that subscribe button because it really does help the channel. Anyway, that's all for me. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.